Hey everyone, we're back again with some more live video game hunting. I uh, didn't hit as many charity shops this time around, but still did pretty well. Uh, and I have a bag of trade that I brought up to CEX, so we'll go through what was in that, how much we got for it, and I did get something nice as well, so we'll show that at the end. Uh, so let's just get straight into the footage, and we'll do some talking and show some pickups when I get back. What's going on today obviously tuesday is the day to go game hunting in the charity shops that first stop um was the first place i went to in the first game hunting video where i got the silent hill and it's a euro for every game and i'm not going to go through them individually i'll do a pickup at the end but nine games nine euro so that was cool uh, i did two more stops there's nothing in those other two uh, just a couple of books actually funny enough again going back to the last video i picked up a chris jericho book and same thing in the same shop there and then just a few others for personal use. And then that stuff there, like, <sighs> nice little retro gaming book for the shelf. And then just, like we are absolutely flying today. I've got two more just to pop by. Um, so hopefully the street keeps up, but sure, look, we've cleaned up as it is. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, so as you say, we've loads to go through in this one. Uh, just very quickly, I did one online purchase this week. I got three games from a charity shop. I spent just under a tenner. Uh, I got a Ben 10 the Ultimate something or other for the PS3. Uh, just Dance 2014 for the Wii and a copy of Fear for the PS3. Uh, the other two are going to trade for like 18 euro and we get to keep this for free, so we can't go wrong with that. Uh, first charity shop. Uh, every game in here is one euro, so we got a copy of Air Traffic Controller for the DS. Probably one for the trade put. Uh, Halo 3 on the 360, Fusion Frenzy for the original Xbox, uh, Connect Adventures, I've no idea why I even spent a euro on this but it was still sealed so I don't know, maybe we'll find like a Connect or something like that and we'll bundle it somewhere down the line. Uh, picked up a copy of LA Noir, um, probably should be paying more attention when I'm buying these things, this is a 3 disc game and there was only 2 in it, this 2 and 3 so We'll just add that to the mishmash pile and hopefully we can complete it someday. Uh, Winter Sports 2010 for the PS3. Again, not sure if I'll keep this one. Uh, don't think it's one I'll play, but it trades pretty well, so I can't go wrong. Uh, Prince of Persia. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And again, not paying attention. I got Tekken 4 for the PS2. Could hear a disc inside it, but uh, unfortunately, no game. Uh, there was just uh, one of these SCE catalog videos, so basically a demo disc, so I don't know, that might be worth something as it is. Uh, the next two shops we struck out in, uh, but then the fourth one again came away with a nice little pile. A uh, copy of Soul Calibur 2 on the PS2. I was actually close to picking this up for the GameCube last week for like 12, so uh, we might hold off on that for now. And then a couple of silly Wii titles. Uh, Star Wars 3 Clone Wars Lego one. Pirates of the Caribbean Lego and Harry Potter years one to four. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops in the 360, this is another good trader. Um, so I think going forward most of the 360 games I pick up will probably go for trade. Uh, I'm still on the hunt for PS3 so I don't think I'm going to be picking up an Xbox anytime soon and some of these games have some good trade value so. Uh, really good one this actually, Mario Strikers. I already have this for the Wii but this is the Nintendo Selects version which I think is actually worth a decent bit more. Um, so we'll have to look into what we're going to do with that. It doesn't trade for anything different I don't think so we might just keep it on the shelf for now and see. Uh, this is one, another one for the 360, I really don't want to trade this because it looks like a really cool game but again I'm not going to get a chance to play it but it's Mortal Kombat DC Universe. Um, on the Wii, Animal Crossing, let's go to the city. Again, don't know if I'll get a play out of it, uh, we might trade that, we'll see, we'll go through them all another day. And then just a little retro gaming book which is actually pretty cool, it's brand new, so that's gonna look good on the shelf. Okay, so then we went up to CEX with a bag of trade stuff. Actually did so much better than I thought we were going to. Um, the only one they wouldn't take off me was Gun on the 360. I didn't even realize it had the mature thing on it, so it's an NTSC version, so that's no use. Uh, does anyone out there that has a use for it? Give me a comment, send me a message on Instagram or something like that, and I'll send it out to you. Um, but the pile of stuff we brought out ended up coming to, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it from here, I'll do a little zoom in over there. Uh, but we got 78.50 for all that stuff and I worked out how much I've spent on it and I think I spent 14. So again, you can't go wrong. Um, and then I just picked up one game. This is for the SNES collection. Uh, it's one I've been looking to get for a while now. It's on my list of childhood games I want to buy back. Uh, we have a little hint in the background <laughs> running all along, but we got Mario Kart for the SNES. Really nice label on this one. Uh, we spent 30, which I'd never really spend on it, but again, it was all in trade. So we picked up that Super Mario Kart and still have 48.50 in trade. So hopefully we'll get something nice out of that for the next video. Yes, yeah, so that's all the pickups for this week. I um, just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone that's coming along to the channel. We've gone over 100 subscribers. We're getting loads of people commenting, loads of likes. It's just it's so much appreciated. Uh, I just want to say a very special thank you to Mark from Jordy Slasher Gaming. He gave me a shout out a few weeks ago and I know loads of you guys came over from there. So if for some reason you're not on his channel you need to go and subscribe to him. Uh, he puts some great videos out, loads of varied content and the guy really knows his stuff. So get over there and give Jordy Slasher Gaming a sub. There'll be a link uh, down below for that. Yeah, so that's it for this one. Once again, just thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to put links for Instagram and Discord. I'm up and running there. So if you want to pop along and say hello there, we'd really appreciate it. And hopefully we'll see you again soon for the next one. Cheers.